I'm attempting this route with no sort of prior prior knowledge of the of the climb, apart from having just replaced a, a thread on the top section, uh, which was uh, <laughs> in somewhat bad condition. Before a big route like this, um, I always think the best state of mind to be in is is one of um, I don't know, a kind of clear-headedness, really, without without too much thought. A sort of I don't know, <laughs> maybe a sort of nirvana state. We left the abro there because <laughs> partly because we took an all gear and yeah, we took loads of gear down with us. In this area around the Green Bridge, a lot of the routes are extremely committing and, and quite often fairly serious. Kind of epitomises the spirit of climbing in South Pembrokeshire, really. A combination of like high, beautiful white limestone rising straight up from the deep blue sea, and and also this this kind of slight, kind of lonely quality that's hard, quite hard to describe. That you like when when you come here, you kind of get away from the crowds of St, St. Govans and Trevallan and the more popular crags. I don't know about this route, how many ascents it's had. I don't imagine it's had very many. I think it was uh, the um, first climb by Gary Gibson in the, the late 80s. But um, yeah, well, uh, it certainly doesn't show uh, any evidence of, uh, um, of, of having been climbed very often from my brief inspection of the top bit. It's going to be a combination of uh, a sort of wild, uh, wild steep stuff and then some kind of tenuous uh, technical climbing higher up. It's highly mm. stressful. You, anyone would be lying to say that you, when you don't go down, there, you're not afraid, and you're not because you don't know what's gonna what's Absolutely. coming up, you know. And and you, to know that your mates are like holding your string and, and and encouraging you when you're on the route, it just it, it just it helps you so much. It makes a hell of a difference. It makes yeah. a difference, yeah. yeah. On a route like this, you know, you're only or whatever like 200 foot above the, above the sea, but wow. when you're out there, um, you know, running it out above gear, it feels like you could be well a long way from anywhere. I guess it could be a long way from home. Yeah, just watch us on the red. I think things start getting a bit mental now. <laughs> I think things start getting a bit mental now. Quite spectacular.
quite a, a good example, I think, um, this, this route of uh, the sort of, um, ju shall we say, judicious use of, of, of fixed gear to make the, make the climb a reasonable on-site on proposition. Because, I mean, were, it, were, there, were there none of that fixed gear in that route, it would be more like E7. Uh, with lead climbing, the, the great thrill, really, of a route like falling towards England. You can climb through and beyond the limit of what you think might be possible to do. 